Well, hi everyone, thanks for coming out tonight and showing an interest to in where our country is headed. Um, a little bit about myself. <clears throat> I'm from Beenleigh, I've been living there for 17 years. I still play pretty for Beenleigh Buffaloes. I coach the kids down there for like uh, seven years now. Do some work with the PCYC, doing driver training and mentoring, helping the disadvantaged kids get their 100 hours up to go and get their licenses. Um, involved with the Ormo Bulldogs, the Army Cadets and the Scouts around the town. So I'm a pretty community orientated person. Uh, in my private life, um, I've always been a slave to the system, working all the time, and then I had to become a mental health carer for my children's mum, and then it led me into being a single father for my two boys when they were five and two. For quite a few years I did that until I met my lovely wife, who I've got taken out for like two years. So um, I really think that I'm in touch with a lot of people around here, and I uh, can understand a lot of the struggles that we're really all pushing for at the moment. So my message is pretty simple. For a lot of times, you know, everyone's going what's on the tip of everyone's lips. And the thing is, we've not been heard or had a voice here for such a long time. We've been taken for granted and just had the party agenda pushed on us for such a long time. We don't even really know what's going on with our country or what's being presented or asked on or voted on. So what I'm proposing is I want to have informed direct democracy. We want to make sure that there's a website that every bill that gets presented to Parliament to be voted on gets put to the people first in its entirety and in layman's terms. You can vote yes, no, or amendment. Uh, we'll go down there and we can see it. I'll represent what the vote is for the people. Um, it's fully transparent and accountable. It takes it right down to the people writing the, the bills out, you know, and what they're putting in it because 100,000 eyes are going to be on it. So it's going to take away all the little sub clauses and all the little gimmicks and stuff that they put down the end and they make it super, super hard for anyone to find any information about it. So I'm not sure if anyone in the room here has found out what's been voted on in the last four years, what Bert's voted on in the last five years, what the replies have been, what the answers have been. I've had 18 months at home trying to find it out. It's super, super difficult. So I think it's time we really had some transparency come in our government, especially someone that's a community orientated. I'm in the community all the time. I'm not camera based. I won't be camera based. I'll be here trying to help everybody. You know, just a few pointers that we need to bring up for the country and what's getting voted on at the moment. Uh, Full-term abortion, you know, how do you find out what the stance is on that? Do we get the community feel before we go and vote on that? Or is that a personal issue of our member at the moment? You know, it's not even talked about. It's getting pushed through. South Australia's having a massive fit. There's a massive trade. I hate to say it, it turns my stomach in baby bits from these full-term abortions. We don't know where they're going or what they're going on to. Uh, the consumer confidence is plunging at the moment, so they're all about economy, economy. Well, they've had it for 11 years, so why is it still on the tip of everyone's tongue and we're struggling and no one's got a proof? My boy's mum has been in her house for six years, perfect rental, set, perfect rental record, and she's been kicked out on Thursday, been taken to court, has to move into my caravan at the showgrounds. You know, there's other things, you know, so if we're about to run out of fertiliser, we're about to run out of blue because we've got no natural gas, which we've got heaps of up in Queensland, and they can't produce it at the Gibson Island plant to make our urea and our blue anymore, so diesel's through the roof. Where's our 90 day storage of all of our fuel stuff? So, you know, anyway, thanks. We'll get more out in a sec. Questions will come.